Good morning! Welcome to the vlog. We made pumpkin cream homemade or copycat Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brews. I've already made it. The recipe will be on my cozy fall drinks video, but let's see if this tastes good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Iced pumpkin cake with creamy filling. Who posted about these? Someone on Instagram posted about these and we've been looking for them ever since. It might have been fat food. I think it was fat food. So we finally found the cupcake, iced pumpkin cupcakes. There is also um, pumpkin Twinkies that we haven't found. So we're gonna taste these and see if they are any good. But I'm also pretty full. Oh, they're tiny. They're cute. Oh, oh my big boy. All they the masks go boom. I thought they were. I know. I thought they were gonna be bigger than this too, but that's okay. This is probably the perfect amount. Look how cute! I like how we've had, or you guys have had this Christmas countdown up all year. <laughs> <laughs> I forget about it. Okay, ready? It smells great. <laughs> Good job. Okay, wait. Get up. I'm caught you on camera. Mmm, spicy. <laughs> That's good. It's actually pretty good. The middle is like a marshmallow. I think it's the same as the regular Hostess cupcake filling. I think I haven't had one in a really long time. I don't know. These are good, but... I'm into it. I don't know if I would specifically crave them. They're not a... They're very pumpkin spice. Not pumpkin, but They're pumpkin like... spice. Yeah. I was like, I taste the cinnamon. It almost reminds me of a carrot cake a little bit. No, I love this. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Yummy. What? Yummy. Hate him a little bit. She loves it. I love this fake frosting on the top, though. Yeah. It's so good. So it's pouring rain out, as you can see. We got boba tea for my mom's birthday, even though her birthday was two days ago. And I'm gonna taste it. I didn't get any boba in mine. Woo! It's a mango coconut slush with almond milk. This is the best part. Right? Ooh. Ooh, not what I was expecting at all. It's like Probably because I got 25% sugar, it's like just straight, just tastes like a mango, like a fresh ass mango. You want to taste it? Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to drink all this, but this is really good. There's not that much coconut flavor. I was worried it was going to be super coconutty, but mm, this is yummy. Mm -mm -mm. My hair has never looked better. This is so good. Okay. This is basically just a taste testing video now. Also, I didn't say this yesterday, but I got my booster shot last night, so my arm is very sore, and I have a headache and I'm very tired. So, just in case you're like, why is there like no footage? Why is she boring as heck? That's why! Okay, got some pumpkin spice eggnog. It's like real eggnog too, with actual eggs, egg yolks, which I'm a little scared, but we're gonna try it anyway. It's from Aldi. Do we shake this? Don't steal my chair, I'm tired. I don't think, I don't know, it doesn't say to shake or anything. Our hair looks so dumb. I, I'm just kidding, yours is fine. You no, actually did yours. Look at mine. I didn't br we brush it. We went in the rain. We ran in the rain. Let's smell it. Mm. Doesn't smell good. It smells like pumpkin spice. Well, I put my nose it's on fine, it. It's fine, actually. Good. It smells good. Pumpkin spice. I'm gonna do a little bit. How much do you want to taste? Uh, a little bit. We can always pour more. Okay, cheers. Mmm. That's good. That's very good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very thick, very yummy. Thick. T H I C C. Okay, that's yummy. I like it. Mmm, 
Mm. Very pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. Very yum. We'll drink again. Just watched the movie Psycho, which, if you didn't know, the TV series Bates Motel is like a prequel to that movie. It's really old. It's from the 1960s, but it's actually really good. It's like in black and white and stuff, but... It really kept me interested. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's your review? Yeah, I was gonna say, it kept me interested, and I definitely was glad I watched it after watching Bates Motel, because it kind of gave me the... True, because you knew what was, like, going on yeah. because of everything and that happened before. I didn't, like, I thought I would be really bored because it was really old, but it was interesting. True. And Cody, you said A+. Plus. Oh. I would give it 10 out of 10, especially for being from the 19th. Yeah, the acting was actually really good, too. So. I know the murder scene's cheesy, but... Uh, the mom looks a little bit yeah. scary. Cheesy, but... <laughs> then we watch Spongebob, because my rule is if we watch a scary movie, you have to watch Spongebob after. And Mrs. Krabs tried to eat Spongebob. Actually, she did eat Spongebob. <laughs> it's a little weird. Okay. You guys have to see this cute little... Cute little pre-lit pumpkin I got from the Target dollar section. Let me... Ooh. Let me show you. It's <laughs> so cute. Well, that was three dollars from the Target dollar section, but yeah, he's cute. Where should I put him? Oh yeah, right there is good. That's where he's gonna go for right now. <laughs> Wait a second, we have to play for whom the bell tolls by Metallica. <laughs> How do you sing it? Did you say that? These look like the rocks we walked on at San Diego. Hi, I really fell off the face of the vlog this weekend. So, <laughs> I don't even remember what the last thing I vlogged was, to be honest with you. So Saturday, we, or Friday, I got my booster shot. And then Saturday, we celebrated my mom's birthday all day. And then yesterday, Sunday, we went to Duluth to uh, visit Cody's sister and her boyfriend. And we went with his parents. So it was just a fun little family day. I didn't get a whole lot of footage there because obviously we were just like hanging out and that's like weird, but we, what did we do? What did we do? We went to the Glensheen Mansion and we did a little um, self-guided tour of that, which is fun. And then we also went to Pizza Luce. I don't know why, but every time we go to Duluth, we go to Pizza Luce. It's just good. And then we went to Anger Tower, which is really cool. And oh my gosh, I have this video, this time lapse, time lapse video when we were there, which I'll insert. So there was like one second where, here's the picture, we could see um, the, the lift bridge. And then all of a sudden, literally like a minute or two later, it was like completely covered in fog. And then I took a time lapse video of the fog coming in and it is insane. We literally could not see anything. It was quite the experience and something I've never experienced before. It was wild. So that was fun. And then we went 
went to eat at Fitgers and we watched a boat come in and just walked around and it was really nice and we got home super late so that's why I also didn't like talk on the vlog yesterday or anything like that so I'll probably extend this vlog for a little bit longer a couple days just to get some more footage I just got home from work today and I'm going to work on editing some stuff and my blog so that's what's happening all right I'm going to make a cozy little fall meal and I make this every year it's vegan pumpkin chili wow I'm like really pink and I know that sounds like gross but it's really not and you can't really taste the pumpkin in it at all anyway so I'm looking for it currently on my Pinterest and then I'll show you how I'm gonna make it I just made some cornbread muffins. Well, I didn't make them. They're just in the pan, ready to go into the oven. It's just the Jiffy corn muffin mix, nothing fancy. So I didn't really show you how I made those because, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but all right. We're gonna get into the pumpkin chili recipe now. All right, so this recipe is from the Conscient conscientiouseater.com. I will put the recipe in the description so you guys can make it if you would like to as well. So this calls for um, onion and I hate buying like fresh onions. So I just use the sauteed chopped onion cubes that go in the freezer and I just plop one of these in for each onion that it calls for. Um, so yeah, that's what that little, that's what that little guy is. Right here are the finished corn muffins and here is the chili still oh well it was bubbling a little bit just finishing cooking and then I have some sour cream for us to put on top if you want it to be vegan like the actual recipe it calls for vegan sour cream but I don't make this because I'm vegan um, but everything is vegan except for the sour cream so yeah all right, I'm really excited to eat this. You can also put avocado, cilantro, chili flakes on top, but I just didn't feel like buying that. So am I zoomed in? I missed a little bit. All right, so let's dish up. All right, here is my bowl. These bowls are giant, so I didn't want to fill it up and get too full. Looks and smells delicious. I've made this every year for like the past three years. And a cute little cornbread muffin. I'm so excited, tweet. So excited, I just can't hide it. Actually? No. You don't put cheese in yours? We don't have cheese. Sorry, do you have extra cheese from work? I added 
So it's usually super thick. So I added water this time, but I think I added too much water. So it's a little, but I think it'll be good. Oh, I'm hot. Where's my water bottle? It's like your question. I need my water bottle too. Yum. Oh, are you filming yourself? Yeah, a little bit. Is it that big doll or? I saw the vlog. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ally Bank sent me Ally a dollar in the mail. Can you believe it? Can you hold it up and say, me first dollar? What does that mean? Just say it. Oh, I can't do the voice though. Me first dollar. And now I'm gonna insert the clip of when Mr. Krabs says that. <laughs> Did you two get paint all over me first dollar? All right, so that's the end of this vlog and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.